Good morning from Saturday. So, I don't know what the date is. Let's have a look on the phone. It is the 27th. So the first thing I do after washing and brushing my teeth and all of that, come down to get my lemon water ready. And as I was doing that, I spotted from my, honestly, the excitement is unreal. Can you see the wee yellow flower? Look! Oh my goodness. I am there, right there. I'm gonna go outside and see it now. Oh, so excited! Here it is. Look how beautiful that is. And see how open it is. So, in Cyprus, my mum used to get up early and pick, well, obviously she had lots of them, and used to pick all of these first thing in the morning. Because in the morning, they're open, and then she could stuff them, like you stuff uh, vine leaves, dormades, gubebka, whatever you like to call them and um because later on in the day they close up so i'm gonna get some marrows or courgettes whatever <laughs> i'm so excited because i was beginning to think oh, all this green foliage all of this and nothing is happening maybe they're all male plants you know <laughs> or something like that anyway but it's happened i'm so excited so excited. Look at that beauty. Oh. Honestly, can't believe the joy. One little plant, or one little flowering courgette can bring me. And as, as I stand here, honestly, the aroma of the jasmine is absolutely beautiful. Ah, oh, it's just made my morning. See people, you don't need a big garden to plant things. A few years ago I planted these in pots and got beautiful marrows out of them. You do not need a big garden. I mean look, my strawberries are in a pot, my radishes are in a pot. <laughs> Rico's um, spinach, which is spinaging by the way. Look here it is, all you need is a pot. So it is spinaging. One pot of spinach, not half a pot. And his radishes are radishing. Oh look, there's mushrooms popping up there. I need to go and tell Rico. Get them out. But that's the radishes. This is the carrots. His rocket is rocketing. There we go. My onions are onioning. <laughs> My tomato, I don't know. I don't know if this is a tomato, a different kind of tomato. I need to smell the leaves. Because I did have different varieties of tomatoes. We also swapped over, I can't remember if I showed, so we, the vine was sitting here. So I've moved the vine over there and the jasmine here because the bins are behind this wall. And when this starts flowering, we get the lovely jasmine aroma. That would be nicer nearer the back door. Oh, when we're sitting there, where I like to sit and have my lunch. Brunch. Tried lemons again, but don't think it's, I'm just not for growing lemons because nothing's happening. I hate tomatoes. We need tomatoes. Okay. Now let's get ready for the gym. I'm gonna make my bed. Um get ready for the gym uh, it's coming up for seven o'clock and i've got three classes to do this morning i'm going to go and do i'm going to start off with high rocks and then i'm going to do combat then i'm going to do core and then i'm going to come home shower i'm going to get my color done so yeah let's do it that's my saturday morning i'm just in a good mood just because i saw my marrow plant mm -hmm. That's all it takes, people. Okay, people, so I bought the jet on lots of your recommendation. I have literally showered. <laughs> it takes a bit of getting used to. I'm not gonna lie. It takes a bit of getting used to. I have literally drenched the whole place. Okay, hello, I'm back from the hairdressers. I've had my colour done. My hairdresser. <laughs> Not me, my hairdresser decided to keep it light. She says, we're just doing the roots. I'll lighten the roots up a bit. 
So I'm not going to kind of put the dark colour that you normally have to blend it in with the lighter shade. She thinks it looks quite nice for now. So that's what we've done. And the next time I go, I'm going to get the full colour and we're going to decide if we're going to go dark again with highlights or keep it to this. But yeah, so the last bit of footage was me oh, oh, showing you the tooth, what's it called? The tooth thing that you all told me to go and get and I ordered. I'll link the one I got below. And when I was reading reviews on it, it said, be careful you know it takes some getting used to and make sure you're over the bath when you're doing it oh my goodness me people when i tell you <laughs> i was accidentally pressing the on button so it was just spraying and initially i thought it's like i'm gonna drown and my mouth is filling with water da, da, da. i did get the hang of it so i only used it kind of quickly i don't know i don't know if it's as good as actually sticking in the wee brushes and I don't know maybe my teeth were clean at the time I had already brushed them I had already kind of done the wee brushy things in between so I'll come back and let you know if I think it's worth it I'll let you know but yeah so you influenced me people into getting that. hi welcome to Sunday I'm wearing the same outfit as I was yesterday <laughs> I'm keeping it real people. It's Sunday, it's sunny. I have just finished doing my video on my skims comparison, which was a lot of work. And plus the fact the sun is shining, which is very, very, very rare in Scotland. I felt as if I had to even say that on my skims video. So I don't think I'm gonna edit that. I'm gonna go downstairs and sit out in the sun and get some vitamin D. I might take you with me if there's anything worth, um, filming looks downstairs the rest of my family is still away on their holidays we have booked our holiday for cyprus yay so we are going to cyprus soon and um we're also trying to book our cruise remember the cruise that i spoke about um a while back so <clears throat> for the time of year that we want to go which is for my 60th we are debating, well, I'm saying debating, I'm just letting Rico do all the work. I don't really care. I just want to go on a cruise, a luxury cruise. So at the moment we're looking at kind of the Caribbean and kind of the Canaries type of areas. I think that would be the best weather for the time of year that we want to go, which is early next year. So we're looking to book that right now as well. So yeah, so going to Cyprus soon, going to book our cruise definitely, God willing, as long as we're all well. And then we're going to book to go away with Costa as well to the house in Cyprus again next year like we did this year. So we're going to book all of that and it's all done and dusted. So I'm really quite excited people. Right, let me go and spend some family time. And people say, what's so hard about sitting and chatting in front of the camera? I'm telling you, see that, that this video? And I haven't even edited it yet. Wait till we start editing. I'm not moaning. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm just here. Honestly, I'm just trying to help. That's all I'm doing. Oh, by the way, last night, oh, do you know, I went to bed well after three o'clock last night. I am watching Maestro in Blue. <gasps> You know what I'm like when I start watching these things on Netflix, which is why I really, really avoid them. So this is a Greek series on Netflix. So they're speaking in Greek, but it is subtitled. I'm kind of going between both. So they're speaking Greek, but they are from, so it's in Greece. So their dialect is slightly different from the separate dialect. It's a lot faster for me. So I, I kind of go between the... I'm using both without realising. It's really weird. So I'm listening to what they're saying. I, I, I would get the drift, obviously. I would know what was happening without reading the subtitles. But I'm finding myself using both. It's really weird. But I'm 
really enjoying it it's like it's there's everything going on in it so there's murder going on in it there's toxic relationships going on in it it's a love story um there's gay relationships in it there's teacher student relationships in it there's oh my goodness me i mean there's drugs going on in it i mean you name it it is happening in this it is there's nothing it's life it's basically life people uh, there is so much going on and I oh, I don't know how many episodes I've watched last night five six I don't know oh my goodness me I'm gonna end up suffering all week for it but anyway I thoroughly enjoyed it right I'm gonna go and spend some time with my son and husband okay dinner has been served we've got homegrown salad we've got homemade hummus we've got homemade Kifteres, spicy kifteres, and the chicken, and yum. And by the way, this is so good. This uh, sauerkraut, but it's a curried sauerkraut. It's really amazing. Hello, and welcome to Tuesday, the 30th of March. I am just getting ready to go to the gym. It is 10 to 5. The class starts at quarter past 5. And yeah, so I'm gonna try this new class out. Let's go this way. I'm gonna try this new class out, the spin class, just to see. So I've already been to the gym. I went to the gym in the morning, but I want to get in at least one spin class a week. And I don't really want to give up on any of the classes that I'm already doing. So I used to do a spin class on a Saturday, but I now want to do combat, so I want to incorporate that. So I've told you all this in past vlogs. But anyway, it is Tuesday, which means it is cleaning upstairs day. So I have been to the gym, did my morning session, I've taken Lily out, I came back, I broke my fast, I got my washing out, I started cleaning upstairs, done all that. I've done my ironing that's literally taken me until now. I sat down and I just kind of sorted some stuff out. S sort of started editing um, my Skims video as well. We're putting it together and see what I'm going to do with it. But I've had to do all of that by being ruthless with the phone. Because honestly, the amount of time my phone consumes it is incredible i mean i just i put my earphones on i thought i just need to listen to music and i put my phone away in my in my bedroom but the thing is every time i get a message it dings in my earphones and if it's an instagram message it tells me as well who it's from but i've really had to just kind of blank them out because what happens is once i start I stop doing and I get consumed again by the phone and the messages I don't get things done Rico comes home and I'm still cleaning and it's not fair on him and it's not fair on me so I just allocate certain amounts of time if I've got time if I'm just when I finish my fast I'll have a look and I'll deal with it and if at, like now I have finished I had a quick glance uh, at my phone and and I don't really have to answer to everything I kind of have now started acknowledging but if it's not a specific question to me then I've just acknowledged that I've read the text rather than you know start chatting and starting a conversation off and then I get sidetracked and my before I know it my day has literally gone with one, two, I mean it's continuous, so I've really, really had to be ruthless with all of that as well. Because Rico said to me, you know what I mean, he told me, says, just because your phone rings doesn't mean you have to answer it. But I feel if somebody's taking the time to phone you, it's something important. More often than not, it's not. <laughs> And then you know you start chatting and da, 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 da. so I've started really being rude because I've really started kind of being ruthless with the phone. I've, I give allocate so much time to it now, otherwise I just don't get anything done. That's me finished. Normally I would still be cleaning at seven o'clock tonight because I would have stopped, had to look at the phone, da, 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 
and then the only person that's really suffering in the end is me but I mean I enjoy my social media I enjoy all of that it is very time consuming but I need to learn to like I have today is just kind of make certain times for it and not be on it continuously right <laughs> that's me got in a quick chat and now I'm gonna go and do my spin class so I just thought I would let you know I'm quite pleased with myself that I got all of that done I'm thinking there you go that's the difference it makes when I'm not sat on the phone all that time I hello my darling people welcome to the 4th of August is it August <laughs> I think it's August people yeah it is oh my goodness me welcome to the 4th of August I have a little skincare and Zara haul for you I'm just then I'm gonna do it very very quickly because I'm expecting George and Ruth um, and Georgie to come around for dinner and um, that's me just gonna see them since they've got back from their holiday so they got back on late late Wednesday night early hours of Thursday which is kind of going to be the same sort of flight that we're going to be on but anyway so we did I tell you we have booked a holiday I think I did so let's quickly let me go and get a wee glass of Prosecco let's get into the holiday spirit and yeah before I get my glass of Prosecco I'm, I'm so impressed Chanel Noir so I haven't thrown it away that's my original bottle I think the last time I spoke to you I said I was I was ready to throw it away so I got one coat out of this yesterday and it has yet to check which is i know it was only yesterday but we all know so one coat i might do you know what i might just get another coat out of it i might i don't know we'll see i mean you know me i use things up to the very last thing right let me go and get a glass of prosecco and i'll be back and then i'll show you what bag i've used today what's in there i spent like seriously and what i'm going to show you now over 300 pounds just like that people okay i am back cheers it's the weekend my people ah right let me just clip the hair back as well have you got them yet <laughs> i feel as if i'm seeing everybody with them just now oh don't think that feels quite my hair is i don't know if i use too much conditioner but it really feels flat flatter than i like it to feel i even put some root lifting stuff in it to lift it so i bought a different shampoo because of that right one's out of bag where did i put, oh. where did I put the receipt there's a receipt in there okay one receipt from Boots. My receipt from Zara is on my phone. Okay. I'm going to get everything in order, I think. Pull them out. So I'm not going to be taking a lot of stuff. But what I'm going to tell you is CeraVe, CeraVe, CeraVe. It's not CeraVe, Andre. It's CeraVe. CeraVe have brought out some new creams so of course i've had to try them probably not a good idea to try something new when i'm going on holiday so this is all my creams i like to take fresh creams um when i'm going away and it means i'm not gonna i'm not worried about having to empty some of the creams that i have into other containers or worry about forgetting them because i'm still using them and all of that so i just buy a whole load of new stuff anyway this so this is the skin renewing line okay i've got mine so i'm going to show you what i normally use so that would be what i would normally yeah look at that people so i started a fresh one of these this morning okay so that's what i normally use and this is the new line now which looks like so so it's purple instead of blue um, so this is the serum that I got. Now the serum I normally use is La Roche Posay, which I absolutely love, and it's what I'm using just now. But I decided to try the CeraVe um, 
serum and also CeraVe was on offer today at Boots as well so that was good because I was so I was making saving so CeraVe vitamin serum um ret normally retails for £29 and I paid £23.20 for that and again the eye one so I normally use like the blue eye one so I picked up the purple one again the skin renewing eye cream so visibly firms and reduces the look of fine lines and crow's feet hold on people who's that that's really cool yes hello he must have, must have the phone in his pocket or something um so i've lost my train of thought so it, people hello yeah okay 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 so just get the rosy then bye so that's Rico looking for my organic for seckles and he couldn't get them but there was rosy so he's getting that instead okay where was i now anyway so this normally retails so i normally get the blue one of this so we're trying this one skin renewing have i got a wee I think, there we go that's that one so this is not this is called eye repair cream okay so that's the one that I normally use. So we're now going with that one. And that will be just a small tube in there. Like, so I've really been, you know, I've been loving the CeraVe Vanilla Rocher Posse things. Skin renewing eye cream. So we'll see. Um, I always like, I know if you've been here with me for ages, I've said this lots of times. I always used to use Estee Lauder. I still have Estee Lauder products. I still buy them um and kind of use these the majority of the time but just sometimes just to change things up just give my skin something new i will add in the estee lauder but they're not primarily what i use what i use primarily are cerevive and la roche Pussy. i think that's how you're saying it okay so that's 1840 reduced from 23 pounds so that was a wee saving there and then I got my facial moisturiser, the one that I normally use. Okay, so that's what I just showed you from the box there. Because normally it's the La Roche Posay serum that I use. Um, so we went for the CeraVe. So this is just I picked up my usual moisturiser, CeraVe facial moisturiser lotion. And it's got an SPF of 50. This is what I like to use every day and love it okay so that retailed today for 13 pounds 20 and it normally retails for 16.50 and just um it's got uh 1.75 floor ounces in there okay so it's 52 mil just so we know what we're talking about if you're comparing it to other products facial moisturizer so i got the the night serum as well again that's priced at the same price that's the pm one and I, th I reckon the only difference between the two is i haven't checked the ingredients i don't understand the ingredients so i don't bother checking the ingredients i just know if it works for me or not i reckon that there's just no spf in the pm one i think that's the difference but it's it's the same price okay that's that then i was at the chanel counter and you know we talk about chanel things going up in price the makeup is extortionate as well i mean when you're talking about the price of nail varnishes and mascaras and eyeshadows and everything so i went there with the intention to get my chanel noir to replace this and to get uh the highlighting fluid and to get the mascara which i've told you i've absolutely loved i've had samples of the mascara and i've made a couple of purchases online from chanel as gifts and they're not and they're now not offering the mascara as as a free gift anyway so that's what i went in for i didn't like the chanel highlighting fluid i tried the sticks i tried i think every highlighting product that they had 
didn't like any of them. The most recent one that's out just now as a stick has got glitter in it. I don't like highlighters with glitter. So that was a no-no for me. But what I did get, I'm looking down at my receipt to see what's next. Okay, so I did get the mascara. Which retails, there we go, that's mascara in black. Number 10 Noir. £38, people, for a mascara. So that's the tube of mascara. Oh! Beautiful. Special. Just feels special, people. I know, it's all in the packaging, but actually this product is really, really good. £38. And I got my Chanel Noir. Like, there we go. That's the new one. And that's £28. Okay, that's just from two items. It's ridiculous. I mean, like, the eyeshadow palettes are over £50 for, like, four small colours. It is. It's getting ridiculous. Okay, so that's that. What else did we get? Oh. I got... I got the Soap and Glory Makeup Removing Balm, which I would say is my favourite. I've tried loads. I've tried the Boots. I've tried some random makes. I've tried the Elemis. I've tried them. I've tried a lot. I've tried a lot, people. This is my favourite balm. This is what works for me. This retails for £9.99. Love it. What I'm using just now. Absolutely love it okay so i'm using that so i picked up what they recommend the we kind of wash pads as well i got them to go with the balm and i'll take them away with me cypress and i'll just leave them there so that's that they retail for 6.99 i got my essay top coat I was considering getting gel done for going away on holiday and that means I'm not having to carry my nail varnishes and da 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 but I thought look I've persevered this long trying to get my nails back to where they were why kind of start adding gels and things for a week and I'm enjoying painting my nails for me it's something that I do enjoy doing it's a relaxation thing I love it I just can't bear nails chipping or any of that so that's why I do them so often even when they pull back at the base of the nail I don't like that either but yeah on the I'm using the Sally Hansen base coat just now which I'm not a fan of but I was reading on it and it said to also put the base coat underneath so I don't know by me doing that and sealing the edges because I know it's only wallpaper to so say to me make sure you seal the edges and I do try and do that but I think the fact that I've put the base coat underneath and all of that I don't know we shall see I'm totally impressed that this has not chipped at all so got my which you all know I love my top coat that's that retails for £10.99 so we have the simple cleansing wipes they were £2 I'm sure it said a pound but anyway it's they're £2 so we've got them I decided to go as a hardener this time I've got the hardening base coat by Nail Zinc powered by retinol 94% harder nails I'll let you know okay so this retailed for nine pounds so it'd be cheaper getting my nails done i honestly would be hey anyway, so the shampoos i went for it's the normal make that i normally get the ogs ogs og og somebody told me how to say this properly but this time because i felt my hair was so flat and i normally go for the one with for color treated hair I went for the volume vo, volumizing one so biotin and collagen <coughs> shampoo and conditioner these were on offer and they were so they normally retail for 749 each and I paid 499 
so is that everything i think that's everything oh i got my 50 plus anthelios um sunblock of holy face because because people it's gonna be as much as i have mourned about getting no sun over here i'm gonna be mourning by too much sun over there so this is what i like to use works for my skin that's what i tend to use um for my holidays and it looks like that and that retailed for let me see um 16 pounds it's original price 20 pounds and i paid 16 pounds for it so quite a few of the things were reduced i also got lots of points because they were from boots okay so we moved on move on to zara i got three of the same thing from zara they retailed for 25.99 each i thought i've got them I found them, I like them, and just get them. So I got, I love a squirt, people, and it's the perfect leg for me where it's not too short that my bum cheeks are hanging out, but it's not too long because I don't really suit long because I've got plenty of thigh. Like I've said to you before, I'm very well endowed when it comes to my thighs hips and bum very well endowed people <laughs> it's also because i work out a lot so everything's kind of solid i you know so it just listen different lengths of shorts suit different body types and i know what kind of length suits me i don't like a short one short 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 where i you know like your bum cheeks not actually hanging out but every step you take it, there's a risk of it hanging out anyway these these were a perfect length for me and i went just get them and that's the kind of thing i wear all the time when it's really really hot in cyprus so i got a white pair i got the denim pair and i got the black pair and like I said, they were $25.99. And that's the kind of thing you can dress up and dress down as far as I'm concerned. You wear a nice top, you can wear a nice pair of wedgies, very nice, or a pair of flats, da -da -da, wear them to the beach, wear them to the shops. They're the kind of thing when it's really, really hot, you can wear any time. So that, my people, is my haul. I'm going to go and put all of this away into my luggage. And that way I don't have to worry about forgetting anything. Bag of the days are very, 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 very well used, very well loved. Got every penny's worth out of this bag. This is my Gucci messenger bag. Haven't used it for a while because I've been favouring when I've wanted like the easy crossbody bag. I've been favouring that bag, but this is so much easier to use fits a lot more you don't have to kind of put th things in in a certain way fits loads fits a full size Sarah wallet in there without any problem there we go and our agenda and you were in there as well plus my phone plus a sanitizer because covid is rife just now people and the last thing i need is covid when i'm traveling and um what else did i have in there i think that was it i think that was everything i can fit a brolly in that as well so that's it emptied and that can go away and that has been my sunday haul right i'm gonna go and put all of this away and get ready for the kids and see my georgie whom i haven't seen um for over a week now cheers okay just as i was tidying everything away there which i have done and opened everything up and packed it away my wonder ink i did show you that 7.99 so that's what i use as a eyeliner wonder ink looks like so rimmel there we go 